So we finally have the Starfield deep dive. We're going to check out the trailer for the game. This for me means a lot of things because this is the first time besides the original reveal of Starfield that things have been handcrafted, like a complete handcrafted area, should I say. It's not Fallout 4, it's more like Skyrim in that kind of sense. Everything is more in depth and handcrafted starfield had the procedurally generated stuff but this whole planet and area this is finally the time where we can judge bethesda do they still have it do they still know what they're doing handcrafted areas is what people wanted for starfield me included in some aspects but i underestimated the exploration as for the game even though i have my faults for the game we're here to check out this trailer so let's check it out and i'll give you my thoughts at the end Sixty FPS. We got that update for it. Since launch, we've added new features, technical enhancements. Yep. Fresh content and the newly released Revy Starfield's first. Yeah, dude, that freaking thing looks really, really good, man. I love that speeder. Galaxy with a brand new, completely handcrafted world. That's a cool visor. This September, we're launching Starfield's first. Yeah, dude, it's around the corner. Fifteen days. Today giving you the first look at the mysterious homeworld of house for room so let's dive in and explore. house for room let's go let's get it i'm very very excited to see what they do with this really am the fate of our house was written Ooh. the stars uh-huh the great serpent tells us there is no house for room Wow, that's a crit. At least it's kind of dope. Those who walk the path. Oh, the little tubes and stuff. Andresia. She knows she's going to be my companion for this. Wow. Completely handcrafted. We love Starfield's massive open galaxy. But from early uh -huh. on in our planning, we knew we wanted to introduce a more secluded and handcrafted location. Yeah, so that's what we were talking about. From our past expansions. The different animals and stuff. Dude, look at the architecture. There's so much mystery to House Faroon. And because they've so thoroughly isolated themselves, it made them the perfect faction to explore in a completely self-contained experience. Okay. So you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. House Varun. From the minute you arrive on Varun Kai, the story never sends you off planet. You're free to leave at any time, but the story is fully centered around. Oh, yeah, that's good. Planet. Okay, we're definitely gonna delve into this so much. You visit, every Ooh, that looks pretty. It all tells the story of what happened here and how the Varun people have survived. It's more alien, more like Morrowind in and style. That's what I really like. Vindicator. Right, we gotta play Starfield. We gotta grind. There's supposed to be a Starborn or something when you figure this out. Promised. Okay. One of our main themes throughout the base game is humanity's search for knowledge. Quest designer, this is really, really what I want to know. That search, but it's also about what happens when it goes too far. Mm. It's a very extreme pursuit, and it has backfired horribly for the people of House Faroon. My brother Quasim has been missing for days. I'm beginning to worry that something. Okay, terrible. I see what they're going for, and this is very, very interesting. They're doing the environmental storytelling way more than usual. Way more than usual. Look at that, man. It's like eerie. It's all bloody. Okay. Horror aspects. The start of Shattered uh, nice. That's a nice touch. Involving graph drive technology went terribly wrong. They're very, very in depth with this. It resulted in a massive tear in the fabric. Yo, what's the meal? I follow him on Twitter. That swallowed a significant portion of the Varun capital of Dazra. Mm -hmm. You arrived just a few weeks after the Vortex incident. It's still very fresh in everyone's minds. There's a massive few weeks in their city. Nothing has been reconstructed. People are still searching for missing loved ones. Surprise okay. Limited. There is so much work to be done. 
I'm seeing some things in here that's different than normal, which is really good. Among those missing is a Nasco Varun, leader of the Varun people and speaker for the Great Serpent. In his absence, the minor houses that make up House Varun are all vying for control over the fashion's future. The Zealots were once a part of Varun society. Wow. They want to continue the Serpent's crusade. They'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. Hmm. My bad I'm not talking about us. I'm trying to take all this information in. Level 29? I'm way stronger than that. Way stronger. Ooh. Pumped him. Very interesting. Let me pause real quick. See, that right there is what I want to talk about. The game itself, it's the tone has changed for this game. Like, meaning, I know they're doing a more serious route for this storyline and DLC, which is good. The area looks really, really dynamic as far as we know. You know, just think, this could all be surface level. This is just a trailer. Everything could be a sizzle reel. It really looks good for what it wants to do right here. Exploring a complete area. I wonder what other secrets they have. Ooh. It's kind of like that one shot from the poster. From its inception, mm. Varun has been driven by a singular, unique vision. Because of that this, guy. Varun Kai has a completely distinct visual identity. Yeah, the that's what I've noticed. It really is. You'll see this in the extraterrestrial landscape, gravity anomalies, and much more. Oh, dude. This this is clearly a stepping stone for Elder Scrolls. Clearly. This is cool. This is really cool. Really unique. You didn't have this much stuff in star the base game of Starfield. You didn't have that. That's really good. Love it. But you have those people. Varun Kai is located in the Kavnik system and is not the friendliest environment. Good. They believed the Great Serpent led them Good. to Varun Kai, and their whole purpose in being here is to await its return. You have no is the Great Serpent actually going to return? Demands of us. All must serve. We all love an evil cult. We do. We really do, especially me. Planet, and a lot of the people have retreated to Dazra in order to survive and protect their culture and their way of life. Now you'll find areas of the planet that were abandoned and have since been taken over by zealots. Oh, that's cool. And crimson fleet. And humans aren't the only dangers in the. This is a whole planet. planet that's like this. With the handcrafted whole planet. And the vortex breaking down. Creatures from the other side can slip yep. through, like the vortex horror. When you disturb the barrier between our world and theirs. Our world and theirs. These honestly terrifying ambush scenarios. So that's what that is. Okay, it's more dangerous. In the base game, there's a lot of focus around range gun combat. You can engage in a firefight from way in the distance. Uh huh. In shattered space, we're closing that distance. Really? Space okay, I can use my blade and my axe. That's all I want to do. Getting that across is amping up the aggression and the chaos of combat. Good. 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 Nice. Level 42, level 50? Yo, these guys are beefy. These guys are really beefy. Mmm. That's really cool. Nice. This, this is definitely a sizzle reel. Entangled in a political feud between the minor houses, and ultimately decided this is very high. A fate very high. Could affect the rest of the civil systems. We can restore the intended order of things. Thank you for joining us for a closer look at Shattered Space. Nice. We worked hard to 
To make this a journey you won't forget. We're incredibly grateful for your support and passion. Stay tuned for more updates as we head toward launch on September 30th. Shattered space, baby. We here, we are there. So, in closing thoughts, I want to say is I'm very, very impressed of what they've shown for the Shattered Space DLC. However, to get the full effect, you have to play it for yourself. For me, this looks impressive. This is pretty much what I wanted. A more alien environment, pretty much just the game 2.0 for visual looks, let alone game mechanics and stuff like that and that ilk. But there's one issue I want to say we got to have. One issue. How in-depth is this thing going to go? We know the base game of Starfleet had its issues. How in-depth is everything going to go? From what they're saying here, it looks good. But the only way to get that answer, we have to play the game to actually see. I will be playing it day one when it comes out on my channel. And I'll give you my official impressions. Then maybe I'll stream it off some off-chance videos. And we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe, peace for some more gaming content.